Hi everybody, this is Dr. Anirudh Rajkumar, laparoscopic surgeon, Lifeline Hospital, COVIDologist by necessity for the last couple of years. So this video is an attempt to bring about a bit of awareness regarding this ongoing third wave of COVID-19. So this is happening due to the coexistence of two variants of the coronavirus, namely the Delta variant and the Omicron variant. So this is a natural process of evolution for any virus to keep mutating itself till it's more and more contagious and less harmful or virulent to its host organism. So right now, from what we can see, the numbers of Omicron are spreading rapidly. So the time it's taken to reach these numbers have not been seen before in the previous two waves. And this is happening because the virus is mutating to spread as fast as possible. And this virus has a few changes, this variant, where it affects more of the upper respiratory tract, meaning the nose, the throat, and not too much in the lungs. So that's the good, good news, which could also be partially attributed to the vaccination process. Most of the people are vaccinated. The amount of lung damage in this last variant seems to be a lot less than the previous variant, which is quite deadly, leading to a lot of patients losing their lives due to lung failure. So this is again super spreading virus. It can spread very quickly when a patient coughs or sneezes and when the patients don't have their mask on. So there was a lot of ado about uh, spreading through contact, through touch, through fomites and most of those theories have been disproven of late or at least don't have enough proof. So the numbers are going up. That is the bad news. But the good news is the patient recovery is much faster and the fatality is very low. So the mortality has been dropping rapidly over the last year or so since the last deadly Delta variant and the recovery is much quicker in our experience and most patients are thankfully testing negative or at least have completely no symptoms at the end of almost a week or so. That being said, it's all the more necessary to take all the necessary precautions as per government guidelines. Make sure your mask stays on at all times because you'll never know which of your family members or your contacts could be susceptible even to this virus which isn't as virulent. So all of you, please stay safe and follow the guidelines. Thank you.